So we have to generate a mind of enlightenment when we um, recite the refuge prayers, prayer after which we do Q and A. Nasu <laughs> So now we uh, reach the stage that we're going to have a Q&A session and then we can, uh, yeah, we can ask questions in general, but also what we covered yesterday. And um, yeah, the answer, I don't know, because uh, I haven't studied that much, but with a pure motivation, I try to do my best. Namaste, Kadrula. My question is, as, uh, as an Eastern woman, how are you feeling in the West? How, what are your impressions generally of um, spirituality in the West? Thank you. You know, you know the, 
Nucho <laughs> Mirigonsova, <laughs> So yeah, um, I generally speaking don't have real um, any special feeling in different places I go to in general. Uh, but yeah, it always reflects that beings are very fortunate, especially those who follow spirituality. And yeah, whatever I go, I try not to make a distinction between good or bad or, or discriminating various aspects. But wherever I go, generally speaking, I go in a happy, happy way. Mm. <laughs> Jidangi, Chigno Yaji, Nisangani, Zogjingani, any pets, Ajimomo, Duala, Chidela, any young semi Yaji, Zogomare, Tachi, same country, but the Teru Yaji, Mambo, that Tangi Jiroa, any Diji Yaji, Tang Turochena, and Zomelin de Chiti, and the young Yaji Maron, and the Jevati Dido. But yeah, when I come to the West, then also I see various people uh, being interested in, in development of the mind. Yeah, so that is something very precious and very important. And in particular in the, in the, in the fields of psychology, for example, then I always, when I see those things around me, I always think and, and hope and pray that, that there will be an increase of uh, the education of the mind. Yes. Um, I do have a very practical question um, about a precious human rebirth. On the one hand, my husband is taking care of his disabled son. He can use my help. And I think I can be of practical help and use there. But as a human being in this life, I have, like anyone, certain qualities and talents, I can use them to help other people. Or I could go in full-time retreat, and I feel I'm always in doubt. I cannot do all three. What is the best way to use our precious human rebirth? Thank you. Thank <laughs> And Nasa 
เลกาเชมโบจิมาจิมาเจตานิจีนะดาซัมเดนิมิกเซคาร์ชูโรงาซูคอร์บาบาระวะเดนิซามานังเลกาซามายูเนเดซัมเดลายเตติสกาเลค
did you did you hear the question? Uh, okay. Half. Yeah. Um, the question was about um, the lineages of um, Lama Tsongkhapa and Papa Sambhava and the similarities and the differences, particularly in relation to the explanation of emptiness. Okay. <laughs> ラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラストラ
Tiji Gumba di Jeja e Tone, Anni Lagbartela, a Hajuga, that di Gumba de la Berezanga, so one nanu one Taji, one Jay Ditanala, and the Samena, Jerimuji, and Ma, one Sumba name, and Jay Chimbate. Soon, one Sumba Bay, she did, Anni, er, one Jivati, Tetaji no Sunni, and the Master Wo, that er, one Jiva, Miss Cunny. Send the send the number door. In a young, never remember someone doing each of what you mean that is in Jetam, but tie by his rang yellow never. The signal that does just chance. The days is soon you do. At that is the day, Kanga is a long till a day, eh? And then Sanchi to Tresu come this in your body. Then, eh? And Gurumuchin, Zokin, Anna, Tangi, Marikon, the Hambasing. Any Timo Mimba, any Tigba, Jimba Jeba, Marachiba Jan, any Tiba Jimba Kuba, Yroella. Mm, this among the young, uh, as a one Jiva de Sendenchin, any, uh, that you that you change your say, you are, any, you change your say, you need to send Sendenchili, then, uh, she put Gundas on Korangi Tingla, and she chaps you down to Korang Tingla, any young. Chuku, G. Chapsu, Dini, Anni, uh, Katsurta, Zuku, Yosuba, Mokata, Ranji, and Danga Mitsachimboji, Anni, Kanda, on Jiva, the Zendajini, Chapsu, the Sungu, Anni, Kora Mabang Rangers, Danga Laji, Sachimbo, did you say, did the Samaloa, Pitchy Chinzun, Jivaina, Dini, Timo Maiviji, Sangaji, any. Tawala, Tara, Yuji Maridi, Tai, those are children Tara in this young and it's Zabo, Halivi, that chains it on Dinima, Doikavi, Umi Gorda, and the Naikavi chains it to death at the Chapar Diniti, Sachambo, Tilly, Gigi Dual, the Jane and Jena, and it Pesce Yagamedo. So then, uh, from the point of view of the middle way, mainly emphasized by Lama Tsongkhapa, but also in, 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 in the Nyingma tradition, particularly by with Guru Rinpoche, we also talk about the nature of emptiness and, and the primordial of purity. Yeah? So um, from the point of view of the middle way, there's no distinction uh, to be found from the, from the point of the view. Right? When we go to the secret mantras, then we know in the secret mantras we're talking about the, the channels, um, the, uh, the winds and the drops, and then we see a lot of similarities in the, in the two different traditions. And then eventually we try to generate an, a mind uh, and, and with the winds that actually uh, enters um, uh, the, and bites and dissolves into the central channel. And by doing so, we try to generate uh, the five uh, primordial wisdoms so that is kind of an common feature we see also in the Dzogchen tradition. And in the Dzogchen tradition, when we look at the four initiations uh, we have in the both traditions, of course, yeah, so then the fourth initiation in general, uh, the word initiation, name initiation, is an explanation, as we see in Galuk, for example, that it, it explains the, the, fourth, the third initiation. Yeah? So in, in the Dzogchen tradition, then uh, the... Fourth initiation, yeah, the explanation, so to say, is, is generally speaking a bit clearer and, and more extensive. Yeah? So that's kind of a, a distinction we could uh, make. But it doesn't mean it is not present in Kaluk, because also in the Kriya Samaya system, we have uh, very interesting explanations of this fourth initiation. But yeah, just in general, Dzogchen has uncommon aspects or unique aspects to have more elaborations and, and clarity with regards to the fourth initiation. Um, uh, in, yeah, in, the, in, in the rituals. Then, in a similar way, in the, in the Dzogchen tradition of, of Guru Bhim Sambhava, then there are the unique aspects of, of a mind and, and, and the mind, sorry, the objects and the mind apprehending it, right? So from the point of view of the view, the, the object emptiness is the same, but from the point of view of the mind realizing emptiness, then we talk about the clear light mind, or we talk about Samatha Bhadra aspects or unique aspects of the nature of uh, primordial purity and uh, spontaneous presence. Yeah? So we have the nature of, of uh, primordial purity and we have a spontaneous presence. So that are the two 
unique features we can also find in uh, the Dzogchen traditions. Then, yeah, from the point of view of, of, as we say, from the point of view of the sutra system, we cannot find much difference. But from the point of view of the Vajrayana, as we just saw, there are some unique features uh, we can find in the Dzogchen uh, traditions. Oh, sorry. So I would suggest to, to, for you to read the... The Treasury of Basic Space of Phenomena by Longjen Rajamba. Mm. Kajigurgoda, Sungyanjo, <laughs> Kajigurada, Jangwang was some meva in a give a mambetoni, Sanja the Changusimbi, Dendri Tuladini, and ya, Yoba in Zaya, Chikchawa in Nisudan, Dendriji, Da Chu Zachimbu, Yoba in Zan, this Hamaloa, and it Jibutamba, Samagi G. G. Chatamazi Chungu Mara, Dini Zerjin Radesa, Yoni, Kajigurada, G. Young. Tawa Chedari, Tawa Tatari, said Rabu, Tindia, Tindia, near Devata, Digi Tini, Tininji, Kajiguru, Taki, look Zama Chiguri Laya, the Nima Zama Chiguri Layaji, Tindijima, the Loma Nambala, Jig Tindu, young Chadang and Yamdo Lundua, Zama Zimba in Nines or what's each other go? Be Missy, and Ding as a pure conjunction, such a kind of risk magic, Taringamzi, Chani. Pa the Tindi Chandro So then, yeah, as we know, Buddhist has, uh, Buddhism has various traditions, and we have a tradition in Tibet, and, and that came from uh, ancient India, and, and the many masters, they trained in the different stages uh, of the different traditions. 
And there are different traditions because there is different types of interests. Yeah? And some uh, aspects of the teachings are, are common and some aspects of the teachings are common, uh, uncommon. So it depends on, on the individual students who have different inclinations or different in interests uh, carried out over, over lifetimes. So we should understand the, the preciousness of, of these teachers, teachings of the different lineages that are available and the different views that are there. But it's also important to keep uh, traditions uh, pure, so to say, not to start mixing things. Otherwise, uh, the clarity will go. So better study one particular tradition well, and then after that, study another tradition rather than mixing things up. So that's important to keep things separate within their traditions to keep the purity alive. And, and then uh, try, to, uh, try to practice and study in stages. And as we know, the Buddhist doctrine in India and Tibet, there are various customs and various traditions. So uh, based on that, because there are different kind of uh, beings or different kind of students, and we should have the respect for the different traditions. Otherwise, there's a possibility of creating a lot of negative karma. And we should feel very fortunate to have met uh, or these teachings of these great masters of the past. And although you can think the ultimate meaning or the aims they, they, they explain to strive for, we talk about the same thing. But it's just different interpretations possible because there are different kind of beings needing different interpretations. Hello, Candela. Thank you very much for your teachings. I just, we live in a very, in the West, it's a very distracted, uh, with, I'm really talking about myself, uh, very distracted minds. What would you recommend some very simple practices to overcome distraction of the mind? <sighs> Sem shu yang do dus. Allah. Sem shu yang do dus. Sem ying do dus. Sem yang do dus. Ye dan di sem su du ya dan. Da sem di chi chi de ne ba. Che du kare chi so kare chi ku yimis. La re. Ta di ying do ran tong a ta ran. Ni ni. So su yi. ที่เนี่ยเราว่าชีวิตเราสิยิ่งเราทั่วเดียวเราแค่เช่นกันยิ่งดูทิ้งเกี่ยวมาเราเราทำงานยิ่งกันไม่อยากว่ายิ่งท
Kosalung sama bu yezan, lama nyam yang zitte na yagri. So yeah, first of all, uh, it's very good that you recognize the distraction, so you just have to take back the mind. That's what it is. You know? uh, but yeah, that's, that's very good, because many people just don't really recognize uh, their distractions. They just go, keep going, keep going, and don't even recognize their distractions. So that's a very good sign that you already recognize uh, the distractions. And yeah, then when you want to develop more one-pointedness of mind, then it's important to focus upon uh, virtues, right? That's the basis why we want to have uh, a single-pointed state of mind in order to uh, focus on virtue, yeah? So, because if you generate the calm abiding, right? Like very strong forms of concentration, but you don't focus on virtue, then that's not much benefit, yeah? So that's another aspect we should uh, take into account, that the, the concentration we generate is, is done in order to, to, um, to contemplate and, and uh, uh, habituate ourselves to virtue, yeah? And when distraction arises, then we should uh, see that and be alert. And then with mindfulness, we should uh, come back, yeah? So we should remember with mindfulness and then bring our mind back upon the, the focusing attitude or, or the one-pointedness on virtue in, in, in our mind, in our behaviors. It's like riding a horse, basically. If, you, if the horse goes to the wrong direction, of non-virtue, then you take it to the direction of virtue. Yeah, so it's, uh, and it's all by the power of habituation patterns or, or generating more habituations. If you want to get rid of the obstacles to concentration, uh, excitement and, and laxity, then you have to be constantly aware and, and use mindfulness to bring your mind back. Kandula, it would be wonderful if you could give us some further explanation on the Tara practice that we received the Jenang for this morning, and particularly any insights that you may have, um, and also how to integrate this into our daily lives. To Digi. Tada so first of all, the practice starts with uh, generating the body mind, right? So we should focus on bodhicitta and understanding the view of emptiness and then by with those two aspects, we should contemplate them again and again to bring a strong form of habituation. Mm. Yichi Kalasamo <laughs> 
啊，老公，对不起，一时间，嗯，咱全部是结婚呢，他，结婚呢，嗯，咱全部是结婚呢，他，结婚呢，他，结婚呢，他，结婚呢，他，结婚呢，他，结婚呢，他，结婚呢，
extremely important. And you should know that you have the Tathagata Garbha or the, the, the Buddha essence. Yeah? And you know you can develop bodhicitta and you know you can understand and, and study and understand the view of emptiness. So that's very important to study these topics and then engage in the practice. And then whenever we engage in our daily activities, if it's walking or riding a car, then also we can recite Tara's mantra or we can uh, chant the 21 verses of homage to Aryatara. And then, of course, if you can on a daily basis do the short sadhana, that will be very good. Yeah. But uh, sometimes we have to work and, and sometimes there's no time, but at least when we work and at least when we engage in our daily activities, try to see the nature of suffering uh, of samsara and also try to reflect upon the ultimate reality of everything and then reflect upon emptiness. So if you cannot do one day the practice or something, then don't worry about it or, 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 or you shouldn't think and, and have again a guilty feeling. Yeah. So the sadhana, I, uh, it's in process uh, to be completely finalized, the translation, and when it's all finished, then uh, I promise you I will offer it to you. Uh, first, I'd like to thank you for you to coming to teach us, and I just want to make a request. Please come back. We love you here. <laughs> I was going to ask for the sadhana as well, but you just answered that question. Thank you very much. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. So, Tambo Pet, Mr. Tuchina, Ting Yus, then Gemma Yang Ya. Dina yang ya perona sunje narana dene ngi dia di dagi kor katishu ye ni anta da di le kyunsaris no la so you guys ya cha san wa hore se ga ta je na yang di me zo ya de ti zu da de ji ma bo yura le ga ti zu da ma da yang ye zu da cha san de ma re ya na yong <laughs> so I said lasso, which is kind of a Tibetan term um, to say that uh, you want to get out of the situation from the point of view of you cannot really promise directly because then you are already committed. Yeah, but uh, you have to say then that you more or less promise it. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I was in, in Switzerland and they asked me uh, before actually, eight years ago, they asked me to come and I always said yes, yes, of course. But then, uh, for eight years, I didn't go. So, I'm very careful now. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, careful in the sense when there is time, then definitely uh, we have to see at the schedule when there's time, definitely I'll come. Yeah. Okay. Um, thank you for the teaching. Thank you, Geshla. I want to ask about uh, whenever I meditate more deeply, particularly on analytical meditation of uh, anatta. I have a very strong physical reaction to this. Uh, I spoke to uh, Dr. Doji in Mansikang, Mensikang, and he said my wind energy is really out of control. And uh, I was told also by a monk in Dharamshala that uh, my wind energy gets pulled around a lot by my mind when I'm doing uh, analytical meditation on anatta. Lots of shivering, uh, lots of hyperventilation, this kind of thing. Um, so I'm wondering if she has any more specific advice. I was thinking that the, the breathing thing you showed us the other day, Geshila, might be the kind of thing that would help, but maybe she has something more specific to what I'm going through. The <laughs> 
Then uh, Dharamsala, the uh, then uh, Dharamsala la the member doji se doji doji la se which you mentioned kind of taji numbers. Then in the capsule the lungi jodan macho in serisa. Then a lungi jodan the macho which is gum jodan the so mira wa yu which the the kaya gi che the so kare jagi mes. Ladre <laughs> Simnolaya, Sovali Duna, the Comita Yashitiche. Tai no young Tsa Lung Tilly, the Zugi Nani, and the Sim Kasuru, that you dig my dig Nizumani, and ya Lungi Nasa Mombo Yungdua, Lungi Nasa Mombo Kashila, and the Sim to Dutani, Lungzi Yunga Jiguruva, and the Kashila young Chi Junji, to a matrimony Jiungri. And the Kashela young, a Niku Makuta, Dobche, Jun Dang Madang, Dendigi, Lungi, Chaji, Kashi, the Yoga Sunga, Amjila, Denshi, Denshi, and so so Gomje do Sim Jimjo, Mare, Ji Kasu, Susuji, Reva Shukchimbo, Chigomedoa, so Simli, Korajanji, Balene, Shira Pesu Dane, and Gomji Gixel, Potentia to the Shira. Ani Pijotaya, Tan dear young, Susu Lama, Yaku, the Dene, any Gomchi Yamne, Layandilla, any Gixi for the Mobuchi go inza, D. Dayanche, any Amji de, and Susu Dinaji Chawajina, Pijay Yawachi Udo. So, yeah, of course, with different types of meditation, there can be different feelings, right? So, from the point of view of gathering experience of, of, of aspects of the parts, so such as patience, compassion, or karma, then we can get a certain feeling when we contemplate those things. So that's, of course, that's a very good sign. But it can also happen that the elements are in balance, and, uh, or in this case, kind of a loom or wind disease that can be present. And that can cause you to be too tight, or that can cause you to lose sleep, or that the mind is, 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 is unhappy. So there's different aspects of, of this wind disease, so to say. So first of all, when you meditate or engage in meditation in general, it's important not to have too many expectations, yeah? not to, to, to want to do things too fast in a short period of time or thinking that you can accomplish certain things very soon. So that's very important to, to take your time, use wisdom, and then uh, in this case, and then by analyzing these points well, then try to get the right instructions and have a kind of a guide, yeah? the, the, a qualified teacher who can be your guide in your meditation techniques. And then, of course, if there are some physical aspects, then you can depend on medication as well. And if you follow this uh, advice, then I think uh, over time it will go better. Mm. Denyami rig drama dala, and it's a watch in you as a marit. They are Zimbariwa, and there's a man or Rajima to be in the go Namdo Chimanyaji, Chipanchi Lola, Majasi, Dripsha Lola, Majasi, Kainzinanga so sim lady, Menon, Zuni, Shiko Tamala, Zugna Soba, Shatikura, Jayong Shayong Joa, Shiko Tila, Chakwamina, Karsha Joa. In a young Anitzi, Sorva Deva Yova, any new regime of Tindigi, Taya Tachimboya, Lama Yawo, Tiritena, and then Tindri Tindichin, Tabata, Ishita Yachitana, Pemisiriva, Jin, Samoa, Tachi Susugia, oh, not so much bev, so mixes the chunsu, and then eat drama to Kogudu, and a drama tonsu, pitched it over me to change or deep pemisin or grocery. Sanji, she chewed the bed, Dembo, she in Devaina, Masu, Jimbo, she, Dembo, she, Yawashi Devaina, 
Then change you kissin Duni Da Dindi Kalaya Gumji then Zajambo Jena Uni Sin Koyangbo Sin Demo An Zimba Kale Mashik An Zimba de Mashik Tonani Zuan the Shimba Tisu Lotiso Kale Kale Nam Jurin Jurains and Eh Juba Zajambo Ninja Rajin Demba Lasam Yan Chamba Zewa the Mambo Zachim which I am doing Dindicala, the Gumjeni, G. Numbers of a summer loyi, Gumbatijina, Pichi, Ninga is the Marit. Yahoo is there. So, yeah, first of all, what we just uh, said that it's important to have a depend upon a teacher, yeah, a qualified teacher, and then as a guide, so to say, and then also generate faith in that particular person. That's very important. And um, then try to prevent, to focus on different feelings. Yeah, they are not that important if there's different feelings in the body. Or try to prevent various forms of superstition yeah, that comes up in the mind or over conceptualities, uh, so to say. So try to look at things that appears to your mind as mere appearance. And if you do that in the correct way, then uh, when there's clarity of the mind, you will see things clearly. Yeah, same if you have a mirror and the mirror is full of dirt and then things won't appear. Yeah, so if you have a clean mirror, everything appears. But then if you hear something or you see something in your meditations and some people think, oh, I'm quite special now, I have some realizations or something like that. But that's also often not really a good sign. Uh, we should mainly focus upon bodhicitta and emptiness yeah, and to habituate our mind to those aspects. And if you do so, and if you then, you know, or contemplate aspects of compassion, love and kindness, and you do that correctly in, in, in these analytical meditations, then I think there's no real danger in any form of meditation. And then you will, of course, go the right direction. So what they were doing, they were doing Zimba Majuasi, and they were doing it. Yeah, so what they were doing, they were doing it. They were doing it, 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 they were doing it. So what they were doing, they were doing it, they were doing it, they were doing it, they were doing it, Ranging <laughs> So in a similar way, when there is some pleasant feeling yeah, that can come, then we should not grasp at it, yeah, yeah, because then attachment can play a role. So we should have equanimity, because even a pleasant feeling will not last uh, forever. Yeah? Also that is, is integrating, disintegrating, and that's in nature of impermanence. So we should not grasp at, at pleasant feelings, and neither should we grasp at uh, suffering or the wish to be free of suffering. When there's a feeling of suffering that comes up, then you should not uh, have this strong wish to be separated from it straight away and let the mind get disturbed by it, but one should focus as just a mere uh, feeling that arises and, and prevent your mind from getting disturbed by that feeling, just a mere appearance. That's all. Thank you for coming. Um, as a new practitioner on this path, um, I have a question which is important for me. I hope this question also relevant to some of the practitioner today. Um, I recently attended a session that um, teacher has given pointing out instructions. Like yesterday, we talked about um, the nature of mind. So as a new practitioner, I was wondering how important this nature of mind to me, as a new practitioner, I'm about to start Nunjo at a very early stage. And I, from my conversation, I recognize some of my Dhamma sister brothers has been pointed out the nature of mind, and I gave them tremendous encouragement, commitment. Um, I was just wondering, I haven't got this pointed out, obviously, but how important, how beneficial for someone who have seen their own nature of mind and start the practice of Dharma. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Tinia Congress <laughs> Nika meva maji, tatu guni tungi meva, zoaji, jajindi, simi rangi, moshe toni, zoa in zani, and that big kitchen way in zaris. So, yeah, the nature of the mind, so to say, we, we know that the nature of the mind is not really in the form of colors or shape, right? But it's important initially to, to, to recognize the different levels of mind and, and see which minds are. Uh, mistaken and disturbs, and when there is a feeling of pleasant a feeling that arises, then to see that as a mere appearance and to analyze the different aspects of the afflictions as well, like uh, attachment and aversion. And then by recognizing those different points, also we should have the understanding that uh, the nature of the mind by itself is free of these adventitious uh, afflictions. Yeah? And the nature of the mind by itself can eliminate all these afflictions. And the nature of the mind by itself can uh, be separated from suffering. Mm. So that are a few important aspects, uh, you could say, about nature of the mind. And the so yeah, um, when we go back to one particular verse uh, of the Buddha, where the Buddha said, do not commit non-virtue, practice perfect uh, virtues, uh, subdue your mind completely, this is a teaching of the Buddha. Then the Buddha clearly indicated that the, the cause of suffering is in referring to this apprehension of a self, or, or seeing the, the I to exist uh, truly or inherently. Um, that's one aspect, uh, to see that that is a cause for suffering. But then the nature of the mind itself uh, is not existing inherently. And uh, by that nature, recognize the nature of the mind, we can eliminate that misunderstanding of self. Hawaiina, Nisitachimbu So, 
So in the Doji Chopa also one, uh, sorry, the Vajrakata Sutra, there also uh, talks about the nature of the mind or, or the sphere of, of, of emptiness. And we should uh, study those aspects and, and study those aspects to understand more about this ultimate nature of the mind. Because if you don't study those aspects, then you can get disturbed. And we can also see that many problems in the world, they are based upon misunderstandings of reality. And also uh, Sakyamuni Buddha himself also indicated these points. So it's very precious and we're very fortunate to have met these kind of teachings. But it's important to study and put it into practice. And these aspects of understanding the nature of the mind and uh, understanding um, the, the various aspects of afflictions and the actual nature of the mind, if you really understand that well, and if people understand that well, then and put it into practice, then there will be a cause for more peace in the world. So it's important to uh, depend on, on a teacher and, and these kind of teachings and try to study them well and try to put them into practice the best way you can. Okay. So then, uh, yeah, it's important to, to um, train the mind and, and, and to try to uh, avoid those different afflictions as we talked about before, of attachment, aversion and ignorance and using wisdom as we discussed yesterday. And by this wisdom also try to put the six perfections into practice. Yeah, that's kind of a very important training uh, that we discussed all yesterday. Because to really recognize the nature of the mind, yeah, if you look in the, in the past, in the future, and in the present, and then try to recognize the ultimate nature of the mind is initially not, not easy. So we have to train, uh, first of all, in those common aspects as we uh, talked about yesterday. But if you have a very experienced teacher, a qualified teacher, of course, there are uncommon techniques that the teacher can introduce the student into the nature of the mind directly. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, it's important to, to have the reliance on the teacher because then only uh, you will understand these points and then only the introduction the nature of the mind can happen. Hello, Camilla. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Um, I have a question about emptiness. Um, looking at my own mind and contemplating it, I can see it's, everything in there is not mine. I've collected it somewhere from my parents or friends or culture, community, a book. It feels like sometimes my cup is too full. How do I empty that cup or how do I make room to look beyond that box, if I can put it that way? Thank you. Thank <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> I'm 
So sometimes we one day not happy and the other day that's that's not there anymore. So who was emptying that cup? Who emptied that cup? で、その、やぼ、たまいな。あれ、ね、そう、信じて待ちられて、家族に自分、自分的にね、茶碗で、ね。あれ、そうそう、え、で、ば、た、立ち借りしょうが。じ、茶碗だ。自分的にら、らね
Tala Tonye Zizigata Young Young Kaa Sosu Mungruh so yeah, that concludes concludes the the event. And uh, first, yeah, because we have to finish by four. Uh, so thank you all very much for all your efforts uh, putting this all together. And then there's many people here uh, present from the different centers, uh, from FPMT Europe and, and England. Um, so yeah, thank you very much. And actually what we can do is to offer 
and dedicates uh, our understanding and having listened to and contemplated upon uh, bodhicitta and emptiness. And we offer that as a dedication to the various teachers, in particular His Holiness Dalai Lama, and all other teachers, teachers through power to enlightenment, to have a long and healthy life, and also for a peaceful world and, and peaceful minds of all sentient beings. And also in particular, uh, we dedicate for uh, Kyabje Lama Zobarim Shays, incredible kindness of, uh, as we know, in the FPMT, we have about 160 uh, centers and projects. And thanks to Rinpoche's incredible kindness, we have the ability to study and practice bodhicitta and the view of emptiness. So we should remember that kindness. And although, uh, is, although like Rinpoche is an actual Buddha, but shows the aspect of a bodhisattva. And if we, although Rinpoche is not with us anymore, but if we have strong faith with pure Samaya, then definitely there will be a receiving of blessings. And that's in general true for the teachers, although they might be not physically present at a particular time, but with faith and um, with strong faith in, in, in them, then definitely the blessings will be present. And then also try to uh, dedicate for uh, bodhicitta and the view of emptiness to spread in the different directions that all sentient beings uh, may be able to, to uh, study and practice it, and may all obstacles to that practice and development be completely pacified. And um, yeah, based on, on, on these aspects of strong faith in, in the masters of the past and the masters of the present, uh, then we try to have great uh, gratitude for them or, or thanks for, uh, thankfulness to them or remembering their kindness, I should say. And yeah, again, I would like to thank everybody involved in organizing this event. Uh, I don't know all the names of all the people who are involved, and I know there was a lot of work to be done. And thank you all very much. Everybody was involved in whatever they, they, they helped out with, and also try to dedicate for them, also for all the people who helped out to make this event happening for their long and healthy life, and also for the generation of Bodhicitta and the view of emptiness. Because, yeah, bodhicitta and a view of emptiness, if you're a believer or non-believer, it benefits the mind. So also try to dedicate for all beings to generate uh, these two aspects of bodhicitta and the view of emptiness. And based on bodhicitta and, and this view, then also we try to dedicate for world peace, of course, and also for more education of the mind, that the world might benefit for more education of the mind in order to bring a peaceful world. So thank you, thank you very much from the depth of my heart. Anyone <laughs> 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 So thank you very much, and in particular also Laura, who works very hard to organize uh, the tour and helps out so much, and uh, yeah, also the translator. So thank you so much for everything. Ri 
Mapuri Puchi, the Chimper Ebon Bagema, Tenwama, Luma, Karama, Metoma, Dipoma, Nazema, Dichama, Nima, Dawa, Rimpoche, Tolena, Pagelegas, Uzola, Dami, Beljor, Punsu, Zopa, Masa, Wamefa, Sanjing, Idoma, Tida, Dritching, Sawa, Dangupa, Chepe, Perden, Lama, Dampa, Namda, Kepal, Duyang, Yongzo, Tempe, Nada, Dungi, Ledu, Sene, Mute, Jetsu, Lama, Loza, Tuan, Dorje, Jam, Tempo, Kyapje, Gandro, Gunga, Puma, Rinpoche, Pelzan, Boja, Nane, Tepa, Chempo, Zuchu, Zapo, Lepa, Juwe, Yundu, Jingang, Uwa, Gio, Te pa chim po sung chu za po le pa to pe ka rin ta ra gi yun du jin kam u war gi yo tu je dun du je su so je ne kam ta so dro wa ma gyu nam ke ta da nyam pe sem jen tam je la tu se wa chen po ga ni jin ni la tu so mu sa ji pe Joshe meto Tramri Rabinji Nide Gepani Sama Through the compassion of our soul protector, so Gedolichi and the power of my own pure and noble intentions, may the life of Kanjo Bunagitsu Sogyal be secure for a hundred eons, and her activities for the benefit of himself and others be swiftly. Guru, think of me. Guru, consider me. Most gracious Root Guru, care for me. Most gracious Root Guru, do not deprive us of your compassionate refuge. Listen and consider this heartfelt prayer made by a tormented disciple. Guru, embodiment of the Buddhas of the three times, please bless me. You may rest in all pervading great bliss, equipoised within the Dhatu of unimpeded luminosity. Yet the playful dance of your loving compassion emanates in myriad ways. The time has come for the return of the swift appearance of your magical wisdom, Darupakaya, and for you to care for us once again with the affectionate compassion. 
Arise, arise, arise from the Dhammakaya. I invoke you, I call upon you, I implore you on behalf of all beings. Do not rest in Kitara or other pure realms. Rather, to benefit the Buddha's teachings and all living beings, swiftly return to this southern continent to spread the Buddha Dharma of study and realizations. Quickly return to guide us poor, wretched beings, such as the desperate cry of us, your disciples. Return to them, may actually behold your presence and receive the blessings of your body, speech, and mind. All violations, errors, mistakes, and broken samaya that we have made in relation to your body, speech, and mind, and spontaneous activity, through our being confused and conceiving things in erroneous ways, we confess with the luminous emptiness of your three kayas. Of everything auspicious, the supreme auspiciousness, may there be the auspiciousness of emptiness and compassion. May there be the auspiciousness of a timely meeting between master and disciples, through the force of the truth of unchanging sakjas, may the mistake incarnation return quickly. This lament was made by me, a dikini with pure faith and samaya, her eyes filled with tears of sorrow. May these wishes of a beggar woman be fulfilled, to the blessings of the deities of the three roots, Perception is object and the perceiver all dissolve within the expanse. The blissful clarity of suchness. Ah. Yoa kundu yanda lama da dreme jogi bela lanje ching. Sada langi ante ravzog ne dorje chwangi gopan yutub Rimshay, um, Venerable Wangya and I have the joyful and daunting task on behalf of all of us of trying to express the breadth and the depth of our appreciation. Rimshay, yes. thank you so much. We'd like to start with rejoicing. When you arrived in the UK, you had already been touring and teaching for over 40 days in Europe. Thousands of direct beneficiaries and their friends and families have received your teachings. Your teachings will ripple out with compassion and wisdom. Thank you. Um, it is impossible to describe the benefits of your visit. Um, like children, we enthusiastically asked you to come to London and had no idea of the rain of blessings that you would bring. <laughs> Just in one weekend, on Saturday morning, you covered the three principal aspects of the park, renunciation, bodhicitta, and right view, and completely inspired us to take the bodhisattva vows. Then in the afternoon, you covered the lamb rim, a complete graded path to enlightenment. This morning you gave us an initiation which we won't even attempt to describe. And this afternoon, with huge kindness and patience, you have answered our questions from beginner to more experienced student, from philosophical to practical. And we know that the whole time you have been here, you have been responding to other requests, including from the centres, to come back to London again and again. And it's not just the content of what you've said to us, but the way in which you've taught us. Your laughter your lightness and your joy, <laughs> your, humili <laughs> your humility, Rinpoche. You are a model of the compassion and wisdom that we seek to emulate. And I think I speak for many people in the room to talk about the joy of seeing a perfect emanation of feminine energy on the throne. Thank you. 
Pimpache, we request and we pray for your extremely long life. You have been requested several times today already to return. And I'm going to do it one more time. We received the very fortunate news before Rinpoche came to London that she was granted a 10-year visa for the UK. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Rinpoche, we humbly request that you come once a year <laughs> for the next <laughs> nine years, please. <laughs> Thank you. We would also like to thank Geshe Namdak. <laughs> Um, without your kindness in translating, over 90% of the people here wouldn't have heard Rinpoche's words. <laughs> and on behalf of the trustees of Jamyang, we would like to thank our wonderful team and volunteers for everything they've done to make the weekend possible for us all. And Rinpoche, during your European tour, you have spread the light of the Dharma, the light of wisdom and compassion. So, and we are so privileged that you chose London as the final stop on your tour. And so in return, we would like to make an offering to you. So I would invite the venue to turn the lights down and everybody to bring your phones out that we've asked you not to use today. To, uh, and make a light offering to Kajola. Okay. Om Tare Du Tare Du Re So 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 Om Tare Du Tare Du Re Thank you, Tajiche.